Welcome back everyone. In this video I would like to discuss about the basic parts of an aircraft and the forces acting on it. Let's get into it. Depending on the requirements, there are many aircrafts with different shapes and sizes. But all of them have these in common. They are. 1. Fuselage. 2. Wings. 3. Control surfaces. 4. Tail part or empennage. 5. Engine or power plant. 6. Landing gear. Let's know something more about them. Fuselage. It is the main body of an aircraft to which all other components are attached. It has space inside it to accommodate passengers, cargo equipment, controls and other accessories. It contains cockpit where pilots stay and control the aircraft. In some aircrafts, the engine is mounted to fuselage itself and in multi-engine aircraft's engine is mounted to wings. Wings. The wings play a major role in generating lift. They have a unique shape called aerofoil. Depending on the requirements different aircrafts use different aerofoils. When air flows over it due to pressure difference lift will be generated. Control surfaces. These are present on wings and tail section of an aircraft. They help in controlling the aircraft to desired direction in these three axes of rotation. Longitudinal axis, vertical axis and lateral axis. There are primary and secondary control surfaces which is discussed in other video. Tail part or empennage. This section contains horizontal and vertical stabilizers to provide stability for an aircraft. Horizontal stabilizer contains elevator to control pitching movement. Vertical stabilizer contains rudder to control yaw movement. Engine or power plant. Engine is required for generating thrust. There are different types of engines depending on the speed, like propeller driven, gas turbine, ramjet, scramjet etc. These provide required thrust for forward movement of flight. Landing gear. Landing gear is used as a support for an aircraft while resting on ground or water. They help during takeoff and landing. They have shock absorbing struts to cushion the flight during sudden impact while landing. There are different types of landing gear assemblies depending on the requirements. Now, let's discuss the forces acting on flight. They are thrust, lift, drag, and weight. Thrust is the forward force required for movement of flight. Drag is the opposing force to thrust. It is caused by friction and due to disturbance in air. Lift is the force acting upward and weight is the force acting opposite to it. In a leveled flight, lift equals weight and thrust equals drag. To make the aircraft fly up, lift should be greater than weight and to move it forward thrust should be greater than drag. Some of the concepts would be explained in detail in future videos. I hope you have learned something new today. Thanks for watching. Please like comment, share and subscribe Aviation Alphabet for more related videos.